Okay. Now, um, let me uh, throw in a percent yield for the. Let's say I knew that this reaction, when I do it in the lab, every time I get um, a 88.2 percent yield. Okay. If I know it goes by 88.2 percent, um, then how much would I expect to collect? Okay, so we know that the percent yield is the actual divided by the theoretical times 100%. So as long as I have two of these three, I can solve for the third one, right? I have the theoretical yield, I have the percent yield, so I can find out how much should I actually collect, what would be my actual yield. Right. So uh, let's uh, just uh, um, do a little, uh, I mean, you can do it either way. You can solve this equation uh, by multiplying uh, by the theoretical yield, and you have theoretical times the percent yield equals the actual. But that makes logical sense because if we know it goes by 88.2%, that's percent of my theoretical yield. So we're still going to multiply that. Um, so I could just take that 4.93, and uh, I'll just use the unrounded number. I still have it in my calculator. Um, and we're going to multiply this by the 88.2%. And of course, we would convert that to a decimal, so it'll be 0.882. And I would predict that I should be able to collect um, about 4.35. Um, grams. Okay, so my actual yield, okay, this is a prediction because I, I, I haven't done that, but uh, I, uh, I'm predicting that I can collect uh, 4.35 grams of that strontium carbonate. Okay, um, verify that it has to be less than the theoretical yield because I can't collect more than I can theoretically uh, produce. So, um, uh, incidentally, if that should ever happen in a lab situation, you would know there's some kind of contamination. Something else besides that strontium carbonate is in there increasing the mass, right? But this would uh, check out. We have a smaller value indicating uh, that we did our calculation correctly. Okay, so this is one type of problem where you might uh, encounter a calculation of the actual yield. All right, normally that is, you know, that's something that you would do in the lab. You actually collect something, and in this case, it's a prediction of how much we would be able to collect. That 4.35 is what we would predict we could collect, knowing that it is, um, it goes by an 88.2 percent yield when we do that reaction. All right.